Dirk and a bunch of OTF dudes get indicted. How'd it feel seeing that happen? That shit crazy. That shit crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that at all. Like, that, shit, that shit weird. Niggas be ain't right. Niggas ain't right. Niggas can't hold the water. A lot of people, uh, like Vlad previously said, like, oh, nobody's going and hopping on a flight and flying to the other side of the country to go slide on somebody. And then he, he issued, like, a correction. Like, damn, lesson learned. There are people doing that. <laughs> he see she did, but I don't know how y'all know they did that shit. How do I know they did it? I mean, I don't know necessarily, but it does yeah, seem like they got a ton of evidence. Yeah, reasonable doubt. Hey, we got a lot of evidence about being reasonable doubt. I just, they got to like, they got to know they did, they did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't just say, oh, they did. No, they got to know they did this shit. I hope they come under that shit for, cause like, for sure, that's yeah. like, I don't know. Like, we need, we need, I don't know, man. Free for no freedom, man. Freedom. The white need to be in jail. That shit ain't right. Hell no. Uh -uh. This we call this shit though, but damn, shit crazy. Why you looking so serious? You ugly as hell. I'm just trying to think of like what <laughs> evidence they have against the you OTF are, guys I, that I should zero in on for you. But also, man, hey, I, free I, him, you right? know that. Free him. I mean, I, I looked through the indictment and everything, seeing they got a lot of information what about they a lot saying? of people. What they saying? Um, saying that dirt, uh, I guess they're saying that the credit cards that they used to book the flights was just booked underneath Dirk's company. That's one of the main ones that they're using against but them. But that's like beautiful. I think he can argue against it, right? You can't just say, oh, he, uh, how I knew this was going to happen. No, you can't just, you know. It could be his assistant booking flights through it. And just, you know yeah, I mean? Anybody could, you know. That's all they get done. It's crazy too, though, because there's an LA dude that we know who's one of the co-conspirators, and he's basically yeah, the fuck out of here. he waited outside the hotel room and got the information about where Quando and his boy were staying, and now he's basically gonna go down for the murder, like as if he did it. Yeah, no, he well, he, I mean, he's about. he might beat it. It's, it's not he, out there yet. But we don't know him, but there's a co-conspirator for that people believe is in LA. Who I, I know him. Uh, his name. We, we don't want to reveal that information at this time, but. It's pretty crazy. Like the police, bro. Well, I'm just going off what the police have put out there. But either way, it's pretty crazy because, like, all right, rewind the clock 10, 15 years. Let's just say I'm a regular guy. I happen to be friends with Dirk or Dirk's homies, and they tell me, like, hey, we need you to do a little something for us. We need you to wait outside the hotel room and tell us where this person's staying. Mm -hmm. Shit, that might not seem like that big a deal. Definitely doesn't feel like the kind of thing that's going to get you caught up on a crazy murder charge that might have you doing life. Damn. So uh, people out there should definitely learn from that. If any uh, questionable people ask you to plot on somebody and figure out where they stay at, maybe don't do it. Definitely don't text about it. Just an idea. And then the other thing is they're saying that uh, one of the OTF members, well, they said someone wearing a wire. The internet jumped the gun and saying this OTF Jim who was wearing a wire. I saw that. How do you feel about shit like that? You knew the OTF jam, nigga? I ain't know him. I heard him. He's from down the neighborhood. Like, he's, about, he's close by where his dad's bogus. That was a so rat. You bet the cheese, Goofy. You bogus. Uh, that's all I can say. He bogus. But he's from your neighborhood? He's not from my neighborhood. He he, he claimed like he claimed that he grew up down the street. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that nigga. Shit. How you know Rico Reckless? Yeah, that's my boy, Rico. Cool. That's my boy. Oh, Rico. Fuck with Rico. I'll be fing when we come out to LA, all right? Yeah, I'll fuck with Rico for a minute. Yeah. Because one time I talked to Jeff, it was Jeff Scoom, and I thought you was in the car, but it might have been uh, Q50. Yeah. He was with Rico Reckless, and they was in like a Maybach or some shit, just kicking it. So I'm like, what the I fuck? I probably was in the car. I don't know. I, no, no, we, I don't know. I don't know. I probably was. I probably was. I don't know. So Rico, somebody y'all tap in with or y'all kick it with when y'all out here and shit? He cool. Yeah, I fuck with Rico. People probably never would have expected that Rico Reckless would be one of the, the last original drill dudes still standing out here. Because he was always like the craziest, most ridiculous character in the shit. Hey, grab some drink. Gatorade, if not, grab a water. 
What's your relationship with JB? It's my big brother. How long y'all been kicking it around? Y'all been knowing each other for a minute? Years. 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 You know what I'm saying? For years. Word. Word. How you feel about, like, uh, the Push and Peace movement and shit? That's pretty on with it. I ain't going on with it. I'm with it. <laughs> You're with it? <laughs> hey, my boy, funny as hell. Yep. Push and Peace. Matter of fact, tell J Man to see me some wolves. Oh, uh, We got some right here, actually. You tried them yet? No. You want to try the wolves, man? Hey, that's what I did to the wolves. You were stepping on it. I stepped on it. I'm busy, man. I'm busy, man. I'm with you, bro. Why y'all disrespect that man? What you doing, Jay Man? I just don't like the GDs, blood. That's all. I just hate GDs, for But I everyone, I looked at what Jay Man doing, blood. I f with what Jay Man doing, man. You can't. That nigga funny as hell. Like you can't not not f with Jay Man. But that's that GD. I don't f with GDs, folks, and that's just what it is. Like I don't f with bricks. He ain't a GD though. He whatever he is, he f like he associated with them niggas. Yeah. So.